Hello and welcome to Reading with Ray. Even though Ray is walking around, there she goes. She says, hi, baby. You say hi. Yeah, are we ready for book club? You ready to read? Oh, maybe she's ready for a nap instead. I'm not sure. Hi guys, I am Miss Renee. I am the children's librarian at Salem Public Library in Salem, Ohio. And this is Reading with Ray our virtual book club for kids in kindergarten through third grade but all ages are welcome to join us uh so we've got daisy ray is here with me as well as rogue and griffin's over here rogue and griffin they're they're my old they're my old men they're trying to take naps and we keep bothering them with book clubs and i was playing ukulele a little bit ago and yeah they they kind of wish i would go back to the library and not be home all the time with them <laughs> They're missing their naps. Hopefully we get to do that soon so I can see everybody. I miss you guys. All right, so we are on day three of Inspector Flytrap number three, the go to chewed too much. And it is by Tom Engelberger and CC Bell. So if, you've, if you're starting here, Go back to the beginning and start over there. Uh, don't just join us here. You're not going to have any idea what's going on. Uh, let's see. So we ended yesterday when Nina had gone to jail and the sloth. And we've seen the sloth before. In book one, he was reading the newspaper. And in book two, he kept trying to eat a hot dog. And Flytrap kept interrupting him in both, both things. But now he's trying to help out. He's offered to push Flytrap around since um, Nina's in jail and can't. Oh, Daisy's going to sit up behind us and listen to the story today, I guess. So, uh, but he's really, really slow. It's going to take me a long time. And right now we are missing the golden, or yeah, the gold pickle paperweight, the sprinkles, and what's the other thing we were missing? Oh, the painting from the museum, the, the Sistine chapstick. That made me laugh and I forgot all about it already. That's terrible. All right, so let's pick up where we left off and we will see what sort of things Flytrap can get into today. Let's see if he can solve this mystery and find the master criminal. Chapter, oh. Uh, big thank you to C.C. Bell and Tom Engelberger and Abrams Publishing for letting us use their book for our virtual book club in this manner. Uh, we appreciate it. Thanks for letting us share your book. This book is available on Hoopla, so go get a copy of it so you can read along with us and see all the fun comics and pictures. Uh, so, chapter nine. We hadn't yet reached the art museum when my phone rang again. Hello, I said, Inspector Flytrap speaking. Triflap, this is President Horse Chief Bort. Horse, said a rude voice. Oh, no, not President Horse Chief Horse. I thought you were mad at me, I said. Of course I'm mad at you, said President Horse. But I still need your help, Flyblap. Last night, a master criminal stole our most valuable presidential limousine, the Ford Ford. I'll be right there, I said. Ha, huh. now I was, well, still on the really long trail of the master criminal, and now it was even longer because we're missing even more stuff. Mr. Sloth, please take me to the White House instead. It's a national emergency. Slowly, even more slowly than before. Mm, excuse me. Hanging out with the sloth is making me sleepy. He turned me around and started pushing me in the other direction. And we passed the TV store again. Now Nina was eating Greta Von Hoppenstopp's microphone and Greta was trying to reach through the barred window and hit Nina with her shoe. Oh goodness. A message flashed, flashed across the bottom of the screen. Please stand by, we are experiencing technical difficulties. So Nina's eating the microphone and the turkey's hitting her with shoe. And yes, the sign says old TV, yours for only $1.40. That is a cheap TV. Chapter 10. On the way to the White House, my phone rang. It was 23 scientific pigs. A master criminal had stolen their computatatron. Computer. I can't remember. Say it. Figure that out. Computatotron. 
80,001 supercomputer. <laughs> Sorry about that. My phone rang again. It was a peg leg pirate who was missing his treasure map. My phone rang again. It was Mimi Kiwi, a master criminal who had stolen every plant from her garden. And my phone rang again. It was Vanessa Cow Cow, a master criminal who had stolen her sculpture while she was working on it. My phone rang again. What could possibly be missing now? It was the dog from the dog show checking about the missing entry form. I'm sorry, I can't do everything, I yelled into the phone and hung up. Actually, I can't do anything, I said. This master criminal is so far ahead of me, I'll never catch up. He or she is the world's greatest thief and is creating the world's greatest mysteries. But I, I am not the world's greatest detective. I will never say, aha, again. I was interrupted by the sloth, wheezing and gasping for breath. Whew, whew, this high-speed chase is wearing me out. I'm so tired and hungry. I can't go on. Meanwhile, on the TV... Coming up, Nina the Goat sings the Big Deal Prison Blues. But first, a word from our sponsor. Are you feeling down? Are you kind of blah? Are you the world's worst detective? Yeah, flat trap might be right now. Try this. It's a bottle of Cremo What's It. Cremo What's It will make you feel like your old self again, but don't take my word for it. I drank 73 gallons of Cremo What's It, and now I feel like my old self again. Cremo What's It, exactly what you need. And this is why you guys need this book, because you guys got to see the pictures. So, feeling like herself, she turned into an octopus? Yikes. And 73 gallons? Wow. Um, if you visited our library, you see our big fish tank? Our big fish tank holds 125 gallons of water. So imagine that over half full of cream of what's it, whatever that is, you gotta drink all of it? Yikes. No thank you. Especially if it's gonna turn me into an octopus or a chicken. Okay. Part three, Inspector Flytrap does not have lunch. Oh, he's probably wanting some flies. Chapter 11. I looked around. The sloth had stopped right in front of Penguini's Linguini, my favorite restaurant. And there was Penguini. Penguini, can you fix up some sloth food to help out Mr. Sloth here? No. No? What was happening? Penguini is always happy to see me and always happy to serve customers. Last night, a master criminal stole all of my pots and pans. Um, maybe just a snack from the refrigerator then? I said, the master criminal stole the refrigerator. Can we dig through the trash? The master criminal stole that too. All he left me was one broken automatic pasta maker. Oh, Inspector Flytrap, it's too much. Closing my restaurant forever. Penguini locked the door of his restaurant and waddled off. Oh, poor Penguini. And poor Flytrap, where's he going to eat his flies? Part four, Inspector Flytrap in The Good, The Bad, and The Trash Heap. I am not sure if this is a dog that looks like a pickle or a pickle that looks like a dog. I don't really know. Chapter 12. My phone rang. Flytrap, darling, said the loveliest voice ever. Wanda, I cried. It was my girlfriend, Wanda. Wanda is a rose. That's when I had a great idea. An idea that could help me catch the master criminal. Maybe I could become the world's greatest detective after all. See, Wanda is also a plant in a pot. 
she also needs help getting around. William the goat pushes Wanda around on a skateboard, so if William, who is Nina's boyfriend, would push me around instead, I could get back on the trail of the master criminal, find all the missing stuff, and free Nina. Wanda, could I? I began. Oh, flytrap, she interrupted. It's so awful. A master criminal has kidnapped William the goat. No. What is this master criminal up to? He's taking everything and none of it really makes sense to me. Chapter 13. That was it. My last hope. Now it was all over. I'd never, ever, ever find the master criminal. By the way, said the sloth, not at all slowly. I am the master criminal. What? What? No way! Ser you, seriously? We are going to stop right there because that is a great place to end. What do you guys think? Could the sloth be the master criminal? Uh, do you remember what he said about the criminal in the beginning? It, needed, it was something that's really fast because he could get on and off the train. Um, very, very quick, very sure-footed, and had big, strong claws. Well, sloths have huge claws, so that part, sure. I don't know about the other parts. Was the sloth faking? I, I don't know. We are going to have to find out, so you guys going to come back tomorrow and we'll read some more of Inspector Flytrap and find out what's up with this sloth who was apparently a master criminal. I thought he just liked newspapers and hot dogs. Hmm. All right, so we will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.